Nice that you clicked on this video, especially if you have knee pain. I will show you some very helpful Liebscher and Bracht exercises that have a good chance of making your knee feel better afterward. And it's best if you join in right away. Look, this is the knee with the patella with the kneecap. And the patella tendon is the one that runs down here to the bone where the connection is made. And when it hurts there, we know from experience that it often has to do with the muscle that is located over it, this big, thick muscle, the quadriceps, that's its name, being too tense. And during the exercises, we lower the tension on it, and then we will soon see whether what you feel there as pain improves. A basic exercise you can do is to go into the four-point position, like Ida is doing right now, and slowly move backwards, feeling when the knee starts to complain. We have the situation with Ida right now. Ina has hurt herself while training, did weight training with deep squats. But it's already quite good again, but now I've noticed it's starting, right? Yes, then stay right there, okay? Find the position where you notice the patella tendons hurting. And then you stay exactly in this spot where you feel it, you stay seated, and then go inch by inch further in, but only as far as you can tolerate it. And don't be afraid if you actually feel the pain that you want to get rid of. That makes sense, because if we bring tension into that position, then it will be triggered. And now it's about releasing it slowly so that the tissue can yield and the tension decreases. Look, you've already come down quite a bit now. By the way, if that doesn't work, release the right one immediately. And if holding is too strenuous, then please go up a bit, Ina. Then somehow take a firmer cushion between your buttocks and heels. And then you can just relax and let this stretch happen, allowing it to work for about two to two and a half minutes. So, that would be the first exercise to see how it goes. Afterwards, walk a few steps and check in, and often it already feels better. And if you are now able to sit on your heels, you could now follow up with this exercise, so to speak. It's a bit more challenging because now you have one more muscle in the stretch. Ina, the right leg is a bit straight. Bend your right leg and reach back with your right hand and pull it towards you. Do it slowly. Ina is coming right now. No, no, just stay like that, just stay like that, everything is fine. Ina is just getting to it, and that's good, because when you do that, you have to be really careful. Often it is the case that one can only reach it by bending the hip. The leg practically only goes up to here. Now bend the hip a little. No, the right one. Bend the right hip a little, exactly. And then you try to get into this position, the knee goes outwards, and the hip is bent. And that is the most important thing. Because going down again with the hip is almost impossible. You can't do it. And therefore, really pay attention. The legs must be straight. Is it my turn now without bending the hip? Keep the hip down. And come forward. Yes, you can still compensate a bit with your upper body. Then it goes straight like this. If that doesn't work, then you need some aid. This can be our stretching strap, for example. I'll just make it for you so it doesn't get too complicated. And then you can grasp it. When you take the strap, it is best to reach into the strap with your right thumb. Exactly like that. I'll show you, because you can't see it right now, this is how Aina grabbed. And then you go down with the hip first, go down first, and then crawl forward with the right hand, and then you get into the stretching position much more easily. If you don't have the loop, just take a towel and reach back with both hands, please, Aina. And grab the loop as if it were a towel, and then practically pull the foot towards you. And also, when you do the exercise, hold for two to two and a half minutes. Okay? Hold like this and take a deep breath. And you should join in right away. 
Either you reach with your hand, if you can reach it. If you can't reach, you take an extension and pull further towards the buttocks. Wait until everything gives in a little bit. Keep pressing the right groin firmly against the floor so that you don't get any hip flexion. And then you start with a little strength training. Try to straighten your right leg, but it is held firmly. Trying to stretch, but holding it tight. This is also a workout for the arms. And relax again and pull a little further towards the buttocks. And then again, try to stretch, but hold the whole thing tight with your arms. And relax again and pull it a little further in. And once again, trying to stretch, but holding it tight. And relax again, pull a little further. And hold the position for a moment. And this strength training really helps the muscle to release a bit more, to yield a bit more flexibly, and at the same time, it brings strength into the deep angle. Slowly release. And now feel inside, stand up and feel inside how it feels. If you want to have even more efficiency in the exercise, then you even put your knee a little higher on our knee hero or two, three books that you place underneath. And now you are practically already coming into a hyperextension of the hip. And therefore, when you pull now, feel inside, Ina, the stretching is much more intense. So much more will happen there. But do it step by step. Do not rush into it. First with the heel seat and then without adding anything without raising the knee and then raising it. And so you can always increase it further. And there you would also continue to go in for two to two and a half minutes, intensifying the stretching further, with a good chance that the effect will then be more noticeable and that the pain will probably decrease significantly. Now we've done everything possible to lengthen the muscles in the front, but a joint always has two sides. And that's why we're going to work on the back again. Afterwards, you'll notice that even though we worked on the back, the front will feel lighter. And now, you stand like Aina in front of a wall, hold on tight, and step back with your right foot, or the side where the knee is injured. The foot points straight towards the wall, the knee is fully extended, the left knee is slightly bent, and now you gradually shift more weight onto the left knee while keeping the heel on the ground. You must constantly stretch. The right knee must be kept straight now. So it must not be bent. Even though it's a natural reaction of the body, don't let it bend. That's why you need to actively stay in the maximum extension position and then go into the stretch. You'll notice it starts to pull and you should increase it for two to two and a half minutes. Go further in and do not bend. Attention was a bit bent now. If you are not sure if it is bent or stretched, then come out of the stretch a little, straighten it out, and then go back in. Then it is easier to feel it. After a little while, start pressing your forefoot against the ground. Press the forefoot against the ground, Ina. Stretch properly, lean against the wall, relax and go further into the stretch by bending the left knee a little further. And then really apply strength. Press the right foot down against the floor, try to stretch, aim to get onto your toes and then relax and continue into the stretch. And one last time, press the forefoot against the ground. The heel must stay on the ground. I see a small mistake right now. Keep the heel down. If you always actively stretch the knee, then the heel will always stay down. Always straighten the knee so that the heel stays down and then slowly come out again. 
you'll notice it has become easier. And what you see now is the same exercise, but on our knee hero. You can also try doing something on a step or placing a few books underneath. Then the stretching is much more intense and you usually achieve better results in a shorter amount of time. If you would like information about our knee hero, please click here. And what we would like to show you now is the fascia roll massage, which makes perfect sense for a knee like this, because you practically start at the shin and roll the entire front line very, very slowly and very tightly all the way up. And if you don't have our midi roll yet, you can also use a plastic bottle filled with water to roll. And then you roll the front side further towards the hip and press down as hard as possible while rolling very slowly. Again, press firmly and roll slowly. Yes. Just as Ina is doing all the way up. And when you realize you can't go further, just lean back a bit more so you can roll into the groin. And when you have reached the top part of the groin, then it is finished. That's right, it is finished. So, Ina, was that also the exercise you did when you had problems with your knee, more or less? Yes, of course, and I must really say that it helped me very quickly. All the exercises helped me get rid of the pain and be able to bend without any problem the knee. What actually happened? Yes, I overdid it a bit. I did squats with a barbell on my shoulders and thought I could handle it. Have you done this before? I have never done this before. Never? For the first time? Well, I think there's something to learn from this experience. If you have never done squats with a barbell on your shoulders, how much weight have you lifted? 10, 20 kilos? 10 kilograms? 10 kilos. One should slowly get used to it. And don't immediately do deep squats with heavy weight. Yes, the pain came on gradually. And then I actually went on crutches for five days, couldn't walk. Really? Yes, it's real. But Ina is well known. Good that no one saw it. People would have thought, oops, the exercises didn't help. That was terrible for me. Yes, the exercises helped very, very much. And I do them every day, sometimes twice. The different ones. So it's already a little miracle that I can sit back on my heels again. That was before I only got halfway down. And very unusual for me because you all know that I come down to the floor. But it helps as you have seen something happens when you do it. If you want to do a routine against knee pain, then click here. And click down there if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet. Don't forget to activate the bell. Goodbye. Goodbye.